Alrighty then, we are in our second introduction to Reaper video. And last time I covered uh, inserting tracks and how to show the master track so you can put effects on it. This time around, I'm showing how to insert a virtual instrument and uh, get your uh, MIDI production going. Um, so to recap a bit, when you first get Reaper, it looks like this. Okay, and uh, for sake of illustration, I think I'm just going to go ahead and work in it uh, in the uh, the default skin. But there are, there's a place um, which I will find and put the link to where you can download different uh, uh, skins for it. So we have well, this one. All right, that's ooh. <laughs> I, I'm not somebody who likes a lot of small buttons, so this one would not work for me. That would default for okay. That looks close to the original. And classic. Oh my. Windows 98, anyone? <laughs> maybe it's 95, or maybe it's the XP uh, skin to look like 98. I have this classic. This kind of reminds me of Audacity. Uh, that's one of the DAWs I used. Okay, let's go back to the default. Okay. And. Like I said, I'm sticking with this one because this is probably what most of you will see when you first uh, download Reaper and start using it. Okay, so how to insert a virtual instrument into a track or how to get a virtual instrument set up so you can start recording with it. So right here in this area, which is a blank area, you will right click and you can see you have several options here to insert different things. We're going to go ahead and click insert virtual instrument on new track. And here we have our list of instruments. You can see instruments are highlighted. And I could open any one of these, but I'm going to start with the stock ones that come with Reaper. So we have uh, Resample Omatic, uh, Resyn Driver, I guess, and Resynth. So I'm going to use Resynth, and you can either click on this and click OK, or you can double click the instrument. I'm going to double click. All right, and here we have the Resynth. Okay, now that is just a sine wave, so... We can go lower. Alright. So that is a very simple sine wave. And... Um, which is the like the simplest form of uh, sound you can get. It's just generating, so here you can do you can do different things. You can change the volume, you can change the tuning. Okay. <laughs> we'll put that back to zero, the attack. So it has a softer attack now. Okay. And uh, we have the decay. So we can make that longer. Well, let's make it longer. Huh. Okay. We have the sustain. Okay, let's try this. Okay. It's a sustain. We have the release. Okay, this might be it. Here we go. Yeah, that's longer. Then you can begin to bring in uh, some other. Um, let me go back to reset to factory default. You can bring in some other uh, wave shapes. You can bring it right now. We have the sine wave. Okay. Um, actually, let me go ahead and change the attack back to uh, release. You can bring in the square mix, which is easier to hear when you don't have that long sustain. So. Okay, we have our square, which is very different from the pure sign. Okay, then we have uh, pulse, we can change this. I'm just going to leave that one. 
can add a sawtooth, uh, triangle, you have your extra sign, and then you can tune it just off so you can play. <laughs> so you can do all kinds of things, okay, and then you can do this one. School side detune. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna bring in a bit of square sawtooth. Actually, I'm gonna bring in more square. Okay, that's a little too harsh. Let's put it here. Okay, we're gonna bring in an extra sign, and we're gonna detune it. Here sounds almost like an organ, doesn't it? Let's bring in a triangle. Okay, now we're gonna adjust our, our attack. And the release again. Okay, short release is good. Let's bring that attack down. So what I've just built is kind of loosely reminiscent to an accordion sound. And you can see how you can play with these uh, presets and make your own sounds within this uh, the built-in synthesizer. Um, so these are, these are electronic sounds, obviously. There's nothing really... Um, uh, it doesn't emulate acoustic instruments. Okay, this is a preset that I have. Um, I also created another one called Chapel Organ, so let's listen to that one. And I like this one. That sounds loosely like a chapel organ. Now, if you want to emulate real instruments, uh, you're going to have to, or get uh, emulations of real instruments. I suppose synthesizers are real, but uh, non electronic, there we go, acoustic instruments, right? You can, you'll need some third party instruments. So, right here, uh, for sake of simplicity, I will go with this. Sauna. No, let me go with expand, all right? Expand. Now this has a lot of different instruments. In fact, I should probably go with 88 because it has straight up um, acoustic. But we can we can use the acoustic piano here. Okay. The nice thing about expand is you can add other instruments. Uh, Underneath, and you can create a sort of mix. Uh, so let's let's do this. And you can adjust the levels, so we can bring this down. Could even turn the piano down. So that's the nice thing about Expand 2, uh, which I picked up with my KeyStation 61. So that's how I got that one. Also, if you want it a little more realistic, you're going to have to go for the ones that uh, uh, cost a little bit more. Like I have, I have Contact in here. Now it's the player version, so it's the free one, but there are a lot of uh, sounds that you can use in there. Um, Sonavox, 88 Ensemble. We have it loading the piano. And this, I think, sounds more like a real piano than the previous one. Okay. 
And this one you can also do a couple different things with, but if you if you want to see that, I did a, a more in-depth uh, review of, of the 88 Ensemble, which you can look at. So, so these are your options for inserting virtual instruments. Now, oh, I haven't showed you how to record them yet, have I? Okay, we gotta we gotta deal with that, don't we? Okay, so in here, as you can see, I have some extra instruments, but right now we're gonna go with what comes stock because that's that's what we're uh, uh, working with here. So I am going to choose uh, for purposes of illustration the electric piano that comes with the factory selection and the contact player. So. You have all these controls for the instrument. Every virtual instrument has its own set of controls, which are different. But what I want to look at, like I said, is recording. So the track is armed. As you can see, the level meters. OK. So what you're going to do is you're going to either click this button or hit Control-R. I like shortcuts. I'm going to go Control-R. And then you'll record with your controller. Okay, now we hit stop. Okay, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll save that because why not? All right. So you can see this is what a MIDI recording looks like. Um, and when you double click, you come into the MIDI editor. What you have here are your notes, which you can edit. You can, you see this arrow here, I could shorten it if I needed to or lengthen it. And down here you have your velocities, which you can also edit. You can make it louder or softer. So up here, for example, is loud. The softer notes are down here. You can see in the green, it has a nice uh, color code. Um, okay, so so yes, and, and over here is a keyboard so that you can tell, uh, you can see which notes correspond to. This is this middle C, I believe. That's one up here. Or no, that's middle C. Okay, it's kind of uh, different keyboards have different labelings. So, oh, and the electric piano doesn't go that low. Okay, all right. So that's probably why some of my notes didn't register in here because <laughs> it doesn't play this low. Okay, so we can, as an example, we can go ahead and delete those, right? Because they don't they don't uh, actually work. All right. Uh, where are we here? Okay. I made a little mistake there, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and hey stop sustaining. It's one thing it does is it sustains if you uh, if you stop it before the next sustain pedal uh, marker which I can show you those. See these little lines here? These are sustain pedal markers uh, from the input of the sustain pedal. Okay. So now what we can do is a number of things. We can add extra effects. Maybe I'll do this in another section. But from here, you can add effects. You can even change instruments and that sort of thing. But this, uh, this is basically how you get started, and and then you can tweak your recordings and do different things. Like I said, add effects, and we'll go over that in a future episode. So thank you for watching, and. We'll
we'll see you next time.